just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Toledo has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. He just drills this one. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. some steam on that throw and they make the stop at the 34 yard line what we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers they make these plays look effortless from their own 34 yard line it's first down the halfback makes it to the 44 if you can consistently run effectively like this it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run and that creates chances in the play action passing game they'll bring him down at the 46 Second and nine. Ball on the 46. Tackle around the 49-yard line. Complete. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. He's taken down at the 30. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. He's got it with room to run. And he's tackled for the 38-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Steps out of bounds around the 39-yard line. with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. They're about four yards away here on second down. He 
steps out at the 30-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it third and one. to the left and they wrestle him down behind the line. Good solid defense there to force him into a fourth down situation. That makes it fourth and four. It's away and it's a booming punt. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. And down he goes at the 34. tackle there in space that one goes for good yardage and a first down yeah that's just a nice gain on second down gets it out quickly touchdown rockets Splits the uprights with the extra point. A six-play, 60-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So our score, 7-0. Toledo gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 27. The Rockets have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in the football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's taken down right around the 34. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. The 42 yard line. And he's tackled in the open field. from their own 44-yard line. Second down. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Somebody hit the upset alert button because this one looks like it just might be heading in that direction. Toledo's lead is a touchdown.
And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Three down, three down. Mike 34, Mike 34. They run it for the first, and he stops. This one is a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Toledo is up a score. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They go to the left for a nice game. That makes it second and six. They go with the run. Tackle made around the 36-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. Very good tackle in space. That's good for a gain of 16 yards. First down. Gets the ball here and brought it down to the backfield. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what, that was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. Man left, man left. From their own 48-yard line, second down. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. And they got him for a loss. It's second and 11. Ball on the 19-yard line. Quick strike, and he drops it. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He's at midfield. Gets to about the 47-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Toledo is up seven. They run Atlanta. Brought down at the 47-yard line. That makes it second and ten.
Short pass, middle of the field. And they make the stop at about the 43-yard line. Three, maybe four yards on the pass. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. And he's tackled after positive yardage. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. You don't need three guesses to figure out what they're going to run right here on fourth and short. No, he's short of the first. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And he's tackled right away. First and ten. Ball on the 40. They'll bring him down at the 32. That makes it second and two. around the 22-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 22. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Outside the goal line from the one yard line second down they pick up good yardage that time on the pass play here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense and in this case he did nice job and he's hit before he can go anywhere Touchdown, Tigers! Will be tied with the extra point. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 61-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. We're even at seven in this one. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And the defense stopped them cold on fourth down during their last drive. Hey, Brad, remember the last time this offense came out of the field? Of course, they went for it on fourth down. Sometimes it drives me crazy when we call all of these games and these guys out here go for it all the time on fourth down. Here's a message. If it's longer than fourth and five, just consider a field goal or a punt. Zips it to the back. And he's tackled around the 46-yard line. The Rockets use their second timeout. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And down he goes at the 49. He scrambles. He's going to take off. The quarterback has some room. And they push him out at the 26-yard line. Come 
First and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Out of bounds around the 13-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Caught out in the open. Touchdown, Toledo! Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator has got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying an offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error and to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown? Well, they've got to regroup. Toledo lines up for the kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Fires that quickly, incomplete. They got lucky on that play. That receiver was wide open, but the quarterback just missed it. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Nice run up the middle. We played a half of football. Toledo leads it 14 7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back to their offense. Uh, absolutely. you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, Defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, try to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some ash turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Toledo up seven points. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. Here's a throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Third down, 12 to go. Ball on the 31. It's a 
bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's at midfield. Gets out to around the 48. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. He's at the 40. Makes it out to about the 33. thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he is drilled at the 24. A two-yard run by the halfback. From the 19-yard line, it's first down. The 10, quick strike to the receiver. He's tackled around the four-yard line. first down and they'll be looking for six points here. Tackle made right around the two yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. to a receiver, touchdown! Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. LSU to kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You gotta make every possession count. He gets to about the 34-yard line. it to the 47. He goes downtown. Brought down at the 10-yard line.
They try the right side. And he's level at the eight-yard line. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. They're at the eights. It's third down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Dives forward. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. Converts the extra point. Toledo gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Man, both offenses here in this third quarter have been on fire. Time for the defense to step to the forefront a little bit. Makes you wonder which of these defenses has the ability to come up and make a stop. It could be one of those games where whichever defense comes up with that stop could be the team that wins the game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They'll drop in for a loss. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. to the tailback. From their own 21-yard line, third down. Looks middle, got his back. He's knocked out of bounds at the 25. He's to the 40. He's tackled at the 40 yard line. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. Can they pull off the upset? Well, we're going to find out as we head into the fourth quarter. 21-14, Toledo. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Toledo is up by a touchdown. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. down now and they need to get it out to the 50. The 
delivers to the halfback on the screen. Tackle at about the 41. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game of four. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line, second down. He makes the catch and has a first down. And they make the stop at the 40. Runs outside for a nice game. From their own 44-yard line. Second down. He might have a chance. They'll bring him down at the 45-yard line. Yard line. First down, ten to go. Ball on the sixteen. He's got it with room to run. And down he goes at the six-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. And he's tackled right around the ten-yard line. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. From the 10 yard line, second down. He fights forward to about the seven. This is the ninth play of this drive. Taken down at the four-yard line. It's do or die time right here. Fourth and goal from the three. Looks to the end zone. Interception. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. Here's a handoff, left side. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. When you've got the experience that this safety has, you can read plays very quickly and be in just the right position to make a stop near the line of scrimmage. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. LSU's going to have to use their second time out of the half. They're about four yards away here on third down. Gets the 
gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled around the 36-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Just under two to go in the game. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. brought down. one's in the books. The Rockets come out on top. 21-14. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.